Good morning, guys. Welcome back. This is episode number seven of our NC500 tour. I hope you enjoyed the last episode, and I'm sure this episode's got lots to bring and give you to see as well. Today, I think we are going to make it at least to the famous Balakna Bar. I'll explain a little bit more about it later, but it's an epic really narrow really winding mountain pass so we've just got to pack a few things away in the van and then we'll be getting on our way Just driving out of the campsite. We were staying just down over the, about there where my finger is. We were staying over there. Beautiful spot to stop for the night. We haven't really got a plan for this next section. Um, there's nothing really of majorly, you know, majorly good that I want to see. There might be something we come across that I don't know about. Um, but this Black Nabar Pass is, is the main thing for today. So we're just going to make our way out back out to the main NC500. And uh, see, see what it's got to offer for today. There we go, we've come out about a mile now on the main road and we've come across another lock this is a little village called Dondanel just check out how blue that water is Look at that through a view then. That is something else. Check that out. <laughs> oh my god. If I turn this way. We are really high up here. That water is like really like blue today because of the sky is blue. We've got a nice day for a change. <laughs> there you go. I just don't get bored of these views. You can't.
turned off the main drag again trying to find this little beach called Big Sand and um, we got led to a dead end again so it's definitely something you need to keep like be aware of when you're going down these little side roads where it says beach like literally it said beach on the main road Big Sand is called and we came all the way down we went past the caravan park which is just over there and we've come to a dead end and all, all that there is if I turn you around is this little track and there's a little house just there look and that's it you can't actually get down to the beach because this is someone's private private property so we can't go any further that's it there you go, you can see the beach. It's just there. Nearly a stone's throw. And the water's there. You can't get your vehicle down to it unless you go through that campsite over there. And we're not staying on that campsite. We're just passing by this one. So something to be aware of. Just do your research before you take any of these little side side roads because believe me it can lead you down a garden path and we've got a lovely view here but we can't get down there shame really never mind we've come across a little shop that actually sells some nc500 merchandise it's a little place called Gerlock. It's just right on the like seafront bit here. So I'm going to go in and have a look, see if we can get Ali a few more gifts. Gerlock Farm Shop, but it's also a gift shop. And I saw at the front here, they've got a sign saying, just over there, it says NC500 t shirt. So let's go and have a look. I found some stickers and some t-shirts. They've literally got three designs and that's it. There's the badges and stickers. That's the only badges that I've found on this whole trip. That's it. There must be other places. But there you go, there's the merchandise for the NC500. Managed to get one, finally. The 500 with a Scotland flag, lovely. That's the first sticker. Should have got a Wales one when I went to Wales. Never mind. There we go, that's the first one on. And I got my first Scottish 20 pound note out of the cash machine. There you go, that's what they look like. A Scottish 20 and we got Ali another 500 t-shirt and it's got a motorbike on it I'm sure you'll see him wearing it there's the motorbike there you go there's the motorbike he'll like that there we go so that's another little gift for Harley just a quick look at that t-shirt that I bought Harley there we go that's the front of it and that's the back of it. It's got all the names of the towns written on in the shape of the NC500. There's Inverness, the beginning, where we started. Wick, John O'Groats, Thurso, Dennis. There you go, it's got all, all the big names on it. That's what, what I got Ali in the gift shop. Probably wondering why you're looking at a golf garage <clears throat> well this is also a gift shop as well and they've got some different stuff in here the only two shops i've found that sell merchandise for the nc500 i'll bet i'll see loads now going back you watch here we go they got lots of things in here all sorts it's quite a big store little teddies They've got glassware, they've got 
mugs, loads of mugs, loads of tartan bits and bobs. They got candles with tartan round and they look quite nice. They got like Scottish deer, hip flasks, all sorts of bottle openers and all sorts. They've got silverware. Lots of things. There's all the glass stuff. And then this is where they've got all of the um, the NC500 bits. They got mugs, flasks, coasters, slate coasters. That's quite nice. Quite like that. Proper mugs, they've got tin tin mugs there and proper mugs there, hip flasks. They've got these big, big stickers. I think that might be a bit big for the back of my van, though. Four quid, that's not too bad. It's quite big. There you go, and then all the T-shirts. They've got a different selection of T-shirts over here. They've got all the, the hoodies, different style of hoodies. We've got all the t-shirts up here, all different sorts. There we go, so it's quite a good shop to get all of your, all of your merchandise if you want some. There you go. We're going, we are now back on the main 500 again and we are heading down towards the Balakna Bar. Heading down towards the Balakna Bar and There we go, 150 metres to the falls, that way. Let's go and have a look. I'm frightened to say it, but the sun has come out today and we've got a beautiful day. The weather is lovely. But now, because I said it, we'll probably get rain this afternoon. Don't want to tempt fate, but let's hope not, eh? <laughs> Well, this platform wasn't 150 metres. That's only about 50 metres. You can't quite see it through there, can you? I think it must be a little bit further up. I don't know. Right, so I've just come up. That platform was just down there, about 20 odd metres. Just come up. Goes a bit further up. If you go under here, there's another path. They've blocked it off, but I'm going to go under just so we can have a look. Just bear with me while I get under. Oh, I'm literally sat on the floor. Ugh. There we go. Boy. Look at that. Now that is a better spot 
to have a viewing platform. That is lovely. And that's the Victoria Falls. Really nice. I'm just walking up to the top bit now. I don't know what's up here. Oh, I'm literally at the top. There we go. Thought we had a look down on them now. I have to be careful. It's a view from the top, looking down. And you got that nice lock in the background. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. The water's like a brownie orange colour. I went to a waterfall near, Con in, near Consett where my mum and dad live and the water was the same colour. And a guy said that it's orange because the minerals in the water. What's over here? Oh, another bit. There you go. Rushing down there into a little pool. Could probably jump down there. <laughs> I'm not going to. There we go, the Victoria Falls in all its glory. We're just heading back to the van. Sarah's making me a nice little tuna baguette. So we're gonna go and smash that and then we'll get back on the road. So that's the Victoria Falls done. <coughs> we're turning right out of here, back onto the NC500 again. I don't know what we're gonna see on the way to the Balakna Bar. If there's anything else good, I'll switch you back on.
We've stopped for the night. We're all set up, dog beds out there. We're not gonna make it to the Black Navar today. We, we drove quite a lot and I was tired again, so we pulled into a campsite. Let me just show you where we're staying. So my van is parked there. If I just walk over here, through these caravans, literally this caravan site you pull in and there's a sign on the door saying if there's a space you can have it <laughs> so that's what we did with one space left we was lucky look where we are this is the campsite there wasn't any of these pictures left on the front Look where we're sleeping tonight, again. Amazing. Check that out. So I'm gonna call that the end for this episode. And um, hopefully that Balak Nabal will be coming tomorrow or the next episode for you guys which will be episode 8 anyway I'll leave all the links for the um, campsite everything in the description below please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time you're coming along for a ride with Budgie take care good night